Another great application for the thermal imager is looking at the mechanical side of my air conditioning system. Right now I'm looking at the compressor, looking at the discharge side, I can check the hot gas line, I can look at the suction line. Um, when I'm looking at the suction line, what I'm looking for is possible uh, flooding back with the refrigerant. That would indicate I have a filter issue or lack of airflow or a bad belt. Uh, I also am looking at the wiring here, looking for any hot spots on the wiring that would indicate some loose wiring terminals. I can check my crankcase heaters, see if they're on. It gives me a quick overview of many different things in one, in one screen. Now I'm gonna go over and check the blower section. I'm looking at my motor pulley. My motor pulley looks to be running a little bit hot. That indicates that my belt is either slipping or it's worn. I would probably replace the belt or tighten the belt. I'll have to look at that. I'm gonna check my fan motor. Check for uh, any overheating, indicating the bearings could be going bad on the motor. I'll check my idler pulley. So in just a few minutes today, I was able to use a thermal imager giving me a brief overview of many different parts of this rooftop unit. I found a couple issues, um, and now I'm able to go back and address them. The thermal imager is a very useful tool in looking at the HVAC unit.